want? What you what you want? Hi guys, Aceface back with another video for you and this will be my 1000 subs competition video. So I'm going to have a natter, I'm going to go through a few other bits and pieces as well, so bear with me, it'll be worthwhile, I've got loads of swag to give away today. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a bit of a chat and a bit of an update on where I am, um, because the last video you probably would have seen, it was the High Fleet Voro showcase which was was awesome um, love doing it thank you for giving me that that kind of push to do it and um, but I didn't get a chance really to chat and to thank a few people so I'm going to start off with that um, and I want to just sort of not so much some shout outs um, but I want to really kind of thank um, everybody that got on the back of um, Nick Beer, Nick Beer's sort of shout out for me um, in December. Um, he kind of really, really pulled in those last few subs for me. Um, it was a real plead, um, and I kind of almost feel a bit embarrassed because you know there's a lot of people out there that really deserve subs more than me. Um, but I was touched that that Nick made that video to try and urge some more subscribers to click that sub button and get me to a thousand subs. Um, but Big thanks go to all the people that um, that made shout out videos. Um, what I'm going to do is just in case I don't miss anybody, I'm not going to say all the names. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to going to go back on my archive. I'll find the people that 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 did the videos for me. There was about three or four people um, that did some awesome shout outs for me, and I'll put a, and I will put their um, their channels in the description below. So you know, jump on those guys, and uh, there's there's some great support in the in the community, and they deserve um, all the support they can get. Um, so thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. Um, so yeah, so that got me up to a thousand. So thank you very much. Um, I've had I've been off because I've been I've moved. Um, haven't had any internet, so I had no internet for two months, and uh, that's been a nightmare. It means I, I've really wanted to get some videos out, to you know, even to, to sort of comment and watch more videos. And I've not even really been able to do that because I've been restricted to when I can watch videos, um, how much internet connection where I've been at work or whatever it might be. So I've tried my best to kind of stay in the loop, but it's been very, very difficult. Um, I've had a lot of questions on, so where's your channel gone? What's going on? I'm really sorry. I've not kind of. Uh, been able to sort of jump back as quickly as I would have liked to. Um, but I'm here now and I'm going to try and keep that content now coming at you nice and steady with lots of uh, cool new bits and pieces to show you guys and, to, uh, and, and to, to get involved with. So I mean ultimately the the aim of the channel is to make sure that you guys are, have got all the advice and guidance um, from the hive mind in regards to Tyranids, so I'll carry on with whether it be painting tutorials, tactics, um, list choosing, how to beat certain armies, um, unit reviews, uh, formation reviews, tricks, hints, you name it, you're, you're, you're going to get that from me. Um, that, that's always going to be my aim. What I am going to try and do over the next year, because um, I've had a lot of comments which have been really constructive around they like the channel, people like the channel, they like watching it, you're not too bored of listening to my voice, which I appreciate, um, but because my channel is very, very solely uh, tyrannid based, a lot of people kind of find that a little bit off putting. So, you know, I've always tried to, but I'm going to make a, a, real, a real good effort to, to diversify quite a lot this year and to keep that channel, keep that content very varied. Um, and one of the big exciting things with that, that you'll see in my next video is the um, my new 40k army that's 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 coming along which is very exciting and um, so I'm I can't wait to tell you um, and I will be soon and um, but anyway I've already chatted long 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 so let's just talk about the competition 
So the competition I want to do is, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm not going to make you guys do that much. Um, there's a lot going on. I want to give something to you. I don't want you to have to work too hard for it. Uh, just the fact that you've subbed to me, or if you enter, you will have subbed to me. Um, to me, that's that's more than enough for me to try and uh, treat this as some cool stuff. Um, so what do I want you to do for this competition? Well, the, the kind of obvious things is um, I'd like you to straight away to um, to to hit the like button, please, to to sub to the channel and to put in the description entered. Um, that's an awesome start. That that will enter you into in, into the competition for all the, the goodies that, that I've got. Um, now let's go through what I've got. Two seconds and I'll show you what the goodies. Right, I'm back. So what we got? I wanted to bring quite a lot of stuff to you because again, this is this is a big milestone. You don't come to a thousand subs often, so you know I want to make it good. So I put my hand in my pocket and I've got a few bits and pieces for you. So you know, let's go with it. And what I'm going to do this year is what I didn't do for my 300 subs competition. And again, I got some feedback on that. Was I kind of did um, a first, second, and third. Um, and a lot of people kind of had their ideas of what prizes they wanted. Some wanted some more than others, some wanted others. So I'm going to do the sort of um, once you've put entered in, if you put in your number one choice of prize, and then obviously whoever, you know, whoever wins, um, I can look at what they, what, what prizes they, yeah. Uh, what their prizes they want, and then we can we can try and hopefully hook people up with the right prizes, the right people. Um, ultimately, there will be an order, and the first person, uh, the the winner overall, if you like, will get the ultimate choice, of the first prize, and and then down the list until we get sort of to the other pro to the other prizes. Um, but still, hopefully, it give you an opportunity to get some of the stuff that you want. So let's go through it. What have I got for you? So I have. And a just defence line, complete with quad gun. Um, cover so important in 40k. Um, a lot of armies can really make good use of these these things. Um, you can custom them so they're more kind of unique to your army. Um, really, really handy. Um, very, very good thing to have. Cheap uh, in points and a really, really handy inclusion into your army. So we've got an Aegis defence line. It's a good start. Next, I have da, 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 I have ten pink horrors that you can use for either 40k or fantasy. The bases are for both. They're cool little models. I do like horrors. Um, they've got a lot of character, um, but the really cool thing and why I kind of wanted to chuck in horrors. Obviously, I love demons. I love using horrors in the game. But uh, the good thing with 40k now and demonology, um, almost every army, <laughs> poor Tyranids, apart from poor Tyranids, um, can summon these bad boys. So, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're whether you're an idiot beer and don't have any interest in, in demons, um, you still can have a set of ten demons, you know, have your farseer go on demonology and pull some of these out of the warp. So a really useful handy unit to have in your arsenal, but also um, some cool little models to paint and option for both fantasy and 40k. So my next prize is the pink horrors. Moving on, I have da, 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 this bad boy. This is the Horrispex Stroke Exocrime. Um, one of my favourite models, um, both as a unit and as a model. I love the Horospex model. The unit's awful, but I love the Exocrine. The unit's awesome. Um, so, really easy to magnetise. If you get it, check out my magnetisation video on it. It's, uh, 
it's an easy one to do and it's a wicked model, makes a brilliant inclusion in a 200 army um, and you know, a, a good fun model. So this is the extra prize, that's my next prize. Is that enough? No, it's not enough. Right, let's go to the next one. So, the next one, the actual item itself, is still on its way to me. Um, so you're going to have to bear with me on that. Um, by the time this competition's done, I'll have it, so don't worry there. But I've got my one, so I'll show you the prize anyway. You will get a, a brand new, spanking new one. Um, but for people that maybe have no interest in any of the model stuff, and should just like a bit of painting, I have an Awata Neo uh, airbrush to give away. As I said, this is my one, um, but you will have a brand new one like this. Um, and the reason why I've gone for this one is it's an awesome all-round airbrush. So it's lovely to use. So for, if you're starting with airbrushing, it's, it's awesome. It's a really, really nice bit of kit. Very easy to use. Um, but if you're sort of been, been doing airbrushing for a while, the nice thing with the Awata is a lot of people that have airbrushed for a while using the cheap Japanese, Chinese, um, eBay jobs. Um, the Awata is a step up from that. Um, and if you are an advanced paintbrush, um, an advanced airbrusher, the nice thing about the Awata is it's um, a great um, base basing. Um, airbrush so just laying down your base coats it's awesome for that it's a nice kind of all-round um, um, airbrush so um, so yeah so pretty wicked um, really love the water airbrush um, so so that will be my fourth prize now if that wasn't enough I have an extra special prize of another a water neo airbrush if and this is the if one this is quite a fun thing um, and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but I kind of when I started in the YouTube um, community and when I started back in the hobby after a big break um, I started back same as maybe a lot of you probably a lot of you are in exactly the same boat I, I came back um, after watching a lot of mini wargaming and they are the biggest everyone knows who they are um, and I still love the guys to bits you know they are still a massive influence and very inspiring um, videos uh, both in in how to produce great content how to how to sort of have energetic stylish videos so I still take a lot from the guys and obviously for me, being a Tyranid player, um, Matt has obviously, with his Tyranid army, has again been quite an inspiration. Um, and almost a little bit of competition, to be fair. I'm not going to lie. I've seen his army grow. Um, and he has the advantage of having people uh, painted for him. Um, not that I'm going to knock him for that, but he has that advantage. Um, but he's got a lot of models. He's got a big army. And in fact, when I saw his army showcase, I thought, that's big, but mine's going to be bigger, um, and and it's kind of spurred me on again to to keep the size of the army getting bigger and bigger and bigger and more impressive. Um, so what do I want you guys to do? Why am I talking about that? Well, what would be really really cool is if I can get one of two things: if I can either get a shout out in one of Matt's Q and A's. So if you go on to Mini Wargaming and you put in in the questions and manage to get a shout out for Ace Face. Um, that's one way of doing it. Or if Matt comes onto the channel and um, puts a comment in the uh, in in the comments below, that will also trigger it. So the two things: either a direct shout out in one of his Q and A videos, um, or a comment in the comments below. If you're watching this, Matt, hello. Thank you very much for doing it. Um, but if, if, if any of you can trigger that, um, obviously it would be awesome if Matt referenced whoever it was, but come what may, I am going to um, give away a second Awata Neo airbrush. 
Um, so there's a challenge for you guys. Um, so so yeah, so that's that that that's it. Set pretty easy for loads of gear. Um, so I'm coming to the end of this video, and I've chatted for ages, and you are seriously bored, but you're also thinking, wow, I want some of that stuff. So I'm going to kind of end this video with one last little thing. Um, I've been watching General Splatter's Share the Love videos, and I thought, wow, that's awesome. I'd like to be involved in that, but I kind of like to take my own little spin on it. Um, so what I thought I'd do, again, very mini Wargaming-esque, is... Um, I'm going to start a High Fleet Voro comment, comment bomb. So I'm going to try and do one of these every few videos um, and a way of kind of uh, spreading the love. Um, so for the first one, we're going to go and invade General Splatter's channel. So what you'll see below is you'll see a link to the General's video. Now what I need you to, you to do guys, is jump on that video, that specific video, and in the comments below, I want you to write in, you can change it slightly, make it as humorous as you want, it needs to contain Voro in there, but something like, I've, High Fleet Voro has invaded, or High Fleet Voro is coming. And all I want you to do is stick that in there, and just hit the thumbs up, and that will be the High Fleet Voro comment bomb, number one. Um, and we're coming for you other channels, so wait and see. So um, yeah, so I'm going to do that, but that should be fun. So please do that, get on board, um, and uh, chuck it in the comments and we'll see what happens, see what fun we can have. Um, okay guys, so I think that's kind of it. If there's any questions, competition bits aren't very clear, just uh, chuck it in the description below, in the description below, in the comments below. And I'll try and get back to you with any queries or any concerns you've got on it. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to run it, um, well, let me think. I will run it until, we're in March now. I will run it until the 1st of April. So, no, no, I'm going to run it until the 10th of April. So I'm going to run it until the 10th of April, so it gives you guys plenty of time to, to get involved and do it. Um, so really, really simple. Entered, like, sub, lovely. Then if we can get Matt to take notice of the, the high fleet, then um, bonus extra airbrush. Um, but thank you very much, guys. And if you haven't already, please do like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.